and did a flip while skating on the blast turned around and absolutely oh. shit on her Don't. older boy i have never close range head tap all right vegeta could never man hold on we got a t tournament of menaces 2 which means there's a number one that i ain't heard of from a channel called listen i'm just gonna hit that sub button that like button i ain't even gonna try to pronounce that all right let's get it yeah. okay i don't know why y'all got vegeta feature anywhere in anything called the Tournament of Menaces. He's a bum. You said Matt Pat got a video on it? All right, we'll watch that next. Seiko Ah, uh, yes. Y'all seen the title, so you already know we got to cover today. Yes, Part sir. two of one of the most dangerous tournaments in anime, the Tournament of Power. Now, for those of y'all who saw the last part, you're already up to speed, so you're good. But let me do a quick recap for the new folks. And after watching what transpired last episode, I think we all could use a recap, so let's get into it. So last episode, we learned that Goku and his team had entered into a tournament in which they'd be fighting for their universe's survival. And in this tournament, we've seen everything from reverse jumpings to Walmart <laughs> Broly's shit. Even the Lorax made his debut. And we That's can't crazy. forget the amount of disrespect this man Jiren's been dishing out left and right. And of course, remember that I can't go over every single fight that happened in this tournament, but we're definitely going over some highlights so without further ado let's get into the video now i never seen the tournament of power i missed that so after Dragon goku Ball. failed to knock jiren out bro said fuck out of my face and sent him flying and if you've seen the last video you already know how overpowered this man jiren is <laughs> so goku was in critical condition and this nigga frieza came out of nowhere and started aiming a beam at him and me being the viewer i'm over here wondering where the rest of the team is because your best player just went down and y'all can't even come to check on him so frieza hey, shot sometimes you gotta let him finish him get 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 the get the uh get their tag revive them goku with a beam and instead of doing damage it actually healed him and goku's like nigga what did you do to me and frieza said hey somebody's gotta be jaren and it ain't gonna be me and he just did so goku sees vegeta and they both meet up to give each other an update and vegeta's like hey bro you good and goku said yeah i'm straight i had to fight that female broly and vegeta said yep and it's gonna stay that way because i am not fighting that <laughs> so as vegeta went away the transformers from universe 3 pulled up and tried to jump goku and you already know goku he was not running from no type of smoke but he was badly injured so they charged goku and he he was getting ready to fight, but out of nowhere, Khalifa came, kicked one, headbutt the other, and blasted the other nigga into orbit. Put them niggas in a three-piece combo. And Goku <laughs> saw this and was like, oh shit, good look. But Khalifa let Goku know that she did not come to play, and her and Kale are about to knock Goku out the ring. And hey, I'm not a fan of how the tingly back Saiyans tried to jump Goku when he was down, but he needed this fight to reach the next level. So they square up, and Universe 6 finally gets to run it back with this nigga Goku. And my first time watching this, I was a bit nervous, because two Super Saiyans jumping Goku does not sound like the best ordeal while he He's fatigued. But Khalifa said, fuck all that and charged Goku. And they actually started piecing him. Called this man to fall back on Kiva as man, but they was weaving them shit too. So they readjust and catch Goku in a sandwich. But as he falls back, Kale is not letting up over here trying to piece him still. But Kale said, get baited and kick Goku in a barrage of Kiva as Khalifa said. But Goku blocked it and said, get that weak shit out of here and transform into Super Saiyan God. So Kale really saw like this and was like, yo, you think we can still beat this nigga? And Khalifa started laughing and said, fuck no, we can't beat him. But that don't mean we not gonna jump his ass. And I'm not gonna lie, it's annoying. Imagine doing a 2v1 and you have to admit we're about to lose. If I'm in a 2v1 with somebody and they look at me and say, you know, we're not going to win. It's a 1v1. I'm stepping out. <laughs> You're done. What's the point? Knowing as these two are, I got to respect the work ethic because they're not leaving this nigga Goku alone. So the two tried to charge Goku, but he was ready this time and kicked the shit out of Khalifa and started scrapping with Kale. But Khalifa said, oh, hell no, I pulled back up and Goku hit her with a mean elbow. And just as he was about to finish the combo, Kale charged up the key blast and shot him with it, only for Goku to say, get that weak shit out of here and jump through that shit. And look at Beerus. Bro started teasing because he knew Goku was on point. So Goku shot a command to finish the two off and it looked like it connected, but through the smoke, you see a green light. And when Whatever that light was blitz Goku and he didn't even know what was going on. So now it's time to introduce y'all to one of the most annoying characters in this tournament. Kefla. So for those of y'all who don't watch Dragon Ball, Kale and Khalifa had performed a technique called fusion. And when you use fusion, it allows both the users to come together and increase their strength by a shit ton. So I was not surprised when Goku transformed to blue because this shit is Gogeta or Vegito? 
Which one? Which one? It's not something to play around with. So they dash at each other and start throwing hands, and for the most part, it looks evenly matched. So Kepler charged the King Blast and launched that Goku, but Bro and Kyle Cannon swatted that shit away. And when she went on the offensive, Goku <laughs> weaved her shit, landed a punch, and sent her flying. And I'm not gonna lie, although I don't like Kepler, she is tough, because she got right back up and ate that shit. So once again, she charged Key Blast, and of course, Goku matched it, but when he least expected it, she teleported behind him and kicked the shit out of him. And since he was already fatigued from the Jiren fight, that one kick was lethal and forced him the power out of blue and once again where is his team at your best player is down and nobody's coming to save him and this had all of universe 7 stressing but goku said i'm not about to go out like that and found just enough strength to stand back up so when kepler tried to deliver the final blow the screen went black and opened to goku weaving them shit. which brings us to our next fight UI Goku versus Kefla. So Kefla charged Goku and made an attempt to kick him, but not only did he weave that, but he weaved every other kick he tried to follow up with. And in these that next few moving. seconds, you're gonna know exactly what I mean when I say Goku has weave on Hall of Fame. So Kefla's throwing a barrage of punches and not a single one is connecting. So she charged up a bunch of key blasts and sent him over and Goku still weaved them shit. And in the process, did a backflip off the cliff. So Kefla chased him down and sent more over and Bro just weaved while he was falling. And as they lined up, she nah, was shocked, but Goku fire. said, fuck out of my face and punched the shit out of her. And bro sent her flying through mountains, but when she got up, she was pissed and realized she had to end this soon before Goku fully adjusted. And I'm not gonna lie, Kefla has been holding her own against Goku, but only one person could come out on top. So Kefla begins charging, and her aura is so intense that it starts shooting laser beams, and Goku has to be careful, because if he gets hit by one, that might be rad. And as Goku charges Kamea, bro is moving like an NFL running back, out here dodging everything. So he jumped towards Kefla, and she said, you can't dodge in midair, and shot a key blast at him. But Goku said, I'm not going out like this and did a flip while skating on the blast turned around and absolutely oh. shit on her older boy i have never close range head tap all right vegeta could never man vegeta could never seen goku do somebody this foul and that would make the second time kale has got shit on in this tournament first jiren then goku and how are you gonna tell a nigga with ultra instinct you can't dodge in midair like it's not his specialty and somebody please tell me how this blast did not kill her because it looks like she's about to die but unfortunately they were the last members of universe 6 so xeno said if that blast didn't kill you i will and erase them and i'm not gonna lie universe 6 getting erased was sad and all but that's not about to stop us from talking about how Tapo did frieza in the worst way possible so it to our boy Android 17 because he's currently trying to get away from this nigga Tapo who's chasing him. And 17's plan was to waste as much time as possible so his universe could have the most amount of people standing. But Tapo got tired of running and shot a big ass key blast at 17. And 17 was in trouble because although he matched it, he was about to get pushed off the arena. So realizing he had the advantage, Tapo was about to push 17 off but then got shot in the back. And when he looked behind him to see who did it, it was this nigga Frieza. And he was posted up there talking shit. And A, what Frieza did may have been scum, but he saved one of the MVPs of this tournament, so I'll let it slide. So Tapo said, bro, move, I'm doing this for the trees. But Frieza said, nigga, I don't give a damn about no trees, and shot him with a big-ass key blast. So Tapo lost control and got sandwiched by both attacks, and this was gonna do some damage. And although he survived the blast, bro was on his last legs and fell to the ground. And here go Frieza talking about some, if I win the Super Dragon Balls, I'm gonna get you a trainer and a diet, old fat ass. <laughs> But Frieza's gonna regret saying that because Top got up and started to transform. And look at Frieza jumping back and still talking shit. So for those y'all who don't watch Dragon Ball, the God of Destruction of Universe 11 was looking to retire. But in order for them to retire, there has to be one person to fill that role and Tapo just happened to be that guy. So bro literally turned into a God of Destruction. But Frieza started laughing and said, God of Destruction. Bro, bro, bro turned into Escanor from freaking, yo, son. <laughs> don't want no smoke with you, big fella. This is a uh, PhD Eggman. Look, call Dr. Eggman by his real name, okay? Destruction or not, I'm still him. And Topo said, all right, bet, and shot a ball of destruction at him. And as stated in the past, Frieza has three options. He could either run, hide, or evade. But this nigga said, fuck it, I'm gonna be Broly for a day and stood right in front of Fight it. Back. And this is a face of instant regret. Bro got himself one-shotted. But hold on, because the feud between these two doesn't stop there. So a few minutes later, Topo was chasing 17 and caught him in a corner. And so he charged up a ball of destruction only for it to get destroyed by a rock and it turns out this nigga frieza pulled right back up to get his get back and look at bro he's pissed but respect to frieza for showing back up because i wouldn't have came back after getting one shotted like that but anyways frieza threw a supernova at top and got his shit disintegrated and top said you know what 
I'm going to beat his ass real quick. And pulled up and aired him out. But he wasn't done. Bro grabbed his head and dragged him through a mountain. And once they got to the bottom, Top picked him up, started squeezing his head, dropped him, and kicked this nigga like a football. And I got to be honest, this is one of the few times I actually felt bad for Frieza. But hey, he fucked Yo, around Frieza. and found out. Got so peace. the tournament's coming to a close and the only two that remain are Goku and Jiren. And Goku had charged so much energy that it looked like a mini galaxy had formed under him. But this time he was absorbing the energy around him to make him stronger. And Jiren seeing this was like, I guess this nigga's valid after all and started charging as well. But instead of absorbing the energy, Jiren compressed it into one attack to try to end Goku. And me being the viewer, I was on the edge of my seat because there was only five minutes left in the tournament and this shit was about to end soon. So Jiren shot the blast at Goku and as it's coming towards him, bro's hair started glowing and next thing you know, the blast disappeared and as you can see everyone who was spectating was confused but jiren looked behind him and goku was standing right there with, with the, the ball in hand and bro said get that weak shit out of here which brings us to our final fight and you like goku versus jiren so Goku wasted no time and dashed at Jiren and got a hit off. And Jiren got up and said, oh, it's like that and charged at Goku. And Goku was out here weaving every attack Jiren threw at him. So he fell back and the two started clashing and it was looking pretty even until Goku countered and hit him with a two-piece combo. But Jiren was not going out like that. Bro charged a big-ass P-Blast and shot it at Goku. But Goku said, man, that shit weak as hell and blocked it, causing a huge explosion. And my first time watching this, I was hyped because at the time, we had waited months to see Jiren get his ass beat. But Jiren charged Goku again, this time to try to get a few hits. In, but Goku was not letting that happen. Bro comboed the lights out of him. So he started spamming Key Blast, and you already know Goku had to get active. Bro was dodging every single one and even broke the Naruto run out. So Goku tossed like Alvin, the chipmunk. All right, you're done, big fella. You're done. Jiren only for him to come back, but end up getting pieced in the process. And Goku followed up on that combo. Literally sent this man Jiren flying. But Jiren got pissed and powered up again, causing the whole arena to be engulfed in flames. And I started raging, because why is this nigga so overpowered? But hey, I can't even lie. This scene with him walking was kind of cold. And with both of them at full power, it was obvious that this fight was going to come to a close real soon. So Jiren took off, and they both started scrapping. But this time, Jiren gave the upper hand. And once Goku fell back, he followed up with a key. And Goku tried to deflect it, but ended up getting caught in the explosion. And you could tell this was about to do some damage. But when the smoke cleared, he got back up and Jiren started tweaking. He asked him how he keeps coming back. But what Jiren doesn't realize is that's what we've been asking about him the whole series. So this made Jiren mad and he charged Goku. But Goku weaved that shit and hit him with an air pump. Or maybe even an air fist because I see multiple punches. If only Neji was still alive, I bet he could tell us the difference. But Jiren fell back and started spamming Key Blast again. And Goku was still getting little. Bro was dodging every single blast. Jiren sent his way. So he caught Aaron, charged one final command wave to launch at Jiren. And when he shot it, it was a direct hit, and Jiren went flying. And when the smoke cleared, you could see this man was out of it, and Goku had won the matchup. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm now, Goku really OP, bro. Like, people talk about plot armor Goku. I ain't gonna lie. Goku like that, for real. Goku is like that. Unless you wanted to add the fact that 17 won and wish for everyone to come back. Also, I wanted to mention that we hit 25k. Yes, sir. And I appreciate every single one of y'all, man. Last Sunday when I posted this video, I said 1k likes for part two. I went to get something to eat, came back home, and that shit was at 2k. So I already knew I had to hop back in the lab. So for yes, this sir. video, I'm going to put up the challenge of 5k yeah. likes. And yeah. I'm going to see. All right, hold on. What's this at? 12k likes? Come on now, man how y'all do but as always if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like i've been looking for some more anime uh channels to watch my boy done made it you know what i'm saying yes, subscribe sir. and tap the bell because we got more shout out to that youtube algorithm boy you know what i'm saying put my man right heat on the way and with that being said what other bangers does he have we got we gotta check out some more videos we gotta do uh the tournament of menaces part one we have to do that because you know I didn't, I didn't see the tournament of power. I see, I hear people talk about it all the time, but that was one part of Dragon Ball I missed, okay? And look, just like CJ the Champ had me watch Tokyo Avengers in one day. I'm about to watch Tournament of Power, boy. Ed, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. That boy looks like Dr. Eggman. You cannot tell me he does not look like Dr. Eggman.